2018, it's National Sponge Candy Day, and no one does the sweet treat like we do in Western New York. 7 Eye News reporter Rebecca Thornburg helping us celebrate with a look at how we even got this holiday in the first place. What's not to like about chocolate? Ted Marks has been the owner of Fowler's Chocolates for 25 years, but the company was founded by the Fowler family in 1910. The chocolate professionals claimed the title for the first company in Buffalo to make the beloved sponge candy. You bite into it and it kind of dissolves, it's kind of crunchy, it's kind of sweet, and then all of a sudden it's gone and you're left with a really great chocolate flavor. So that's pretty unique. There's no other candy like it. This year is the four year anniversary of National Sponge Candy Day. Mark says he worked with Mayor Byron Brown to give the Buffalo Signature its own special day. And that is National Sponge Candy Day. I want to thank actually all of our sponge candy makers uh, in Buffalo and Western New York. I've really seen a growth in buffalo centric things. It's always been our best selling product, but I think our sponge candy as a percentage of sales is a little higher now than it was maybe even 10 years ago. And that's because of that uh, loyalty. Mark says he wanted National Sponge Candy Day to be at the end of September to kick off the busy candy making season heading into the holidays. In North Buffalo, Rebecca Thornburg, 7 Eyewitness News.